Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on method of joints. We are going to find the member forces in the truss shown in the figure by method of joints. In this truss, in the point A, there is a hinged support. In this support, we will have vertical and horizontal reactions. In the point D, there is a roller support. In this support, there will be only one reaction, that is the vertical reaction. In the point F, there are two loads, 16 kN acting downwards, 10 kN acting towards the right side. In the point E, we have one load, 12 kN, which is acting downwards. Now, let us find the vertical reactions. First, let us find the vertical reaction VA. For that, let us take movement about D. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. VA is acting in the clockwise direction. So, that will be positive and the distance is 15. So, 15 VA. The load 16 kN is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, that will be negative and the distance is 10. The load 12 kN is also acting in the anticlockwise direction. So, that is also negative and the distance is 5. The horizontal load 10 kN is acting in the clockwise direction. So, that will be positive. For this load, the perpendicular distance is 4. After the calculation for VA, we are getting 12 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VD. VA and VD are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. The loads 16 and 12 are acting downwards, so both of them are negative. For VA, we can apply 12. This 12 and this 12 will be eliminated. Finally, for VD, we have got 16 kN. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0 and find h a. Let us assume that h a is acting towards the left side. So, that will be negative. In this truss, there is only one horizontal load 10 kN. It is acting towards the right side. So, that will be positive. Finally, for HA, we are getting 10 kN, which is positive. That means our assumed direction is correct. HA is acting towards the left side. Now, let us find the angles between the members. From the truss, let us take the triangle DCE. Height of the triangle is 4 meter and the base length of the triangle is 5 meter. In this triangle, let us find theta. We know the formula for tan theta, opposite side by adjacent side. For this theta, the opposite side is 4 meter and the adjacent side is 5 meter. So, theta is equal to tan inverse 4 upon 5. Finally, for theta, we are getting 38.66. If this angle is 38.66, this angle also should be 38.66. This angle also should be 38.66. Let us see how. When we take this triangle, opposite side is 4 meter and adjacent side is 5 meter. We can use tan formula. Using that, we will get 38.66. Now, let us find the other angles. 90 minus 38.66, we will get 51.34. 90 minus 51.34, we will get 38.66. Now, let us see the principles of method of joints. Initially, all member forces are assumed to be tensile. If we get any negative value, that force is compressive. When we apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0, we have to take the horizontal and inclined forces. And when we apply the rule sigma v is equal to 0, we have to take the vertical and inclined forces. 
So in both of the rules, we have to take the inclined forces. In this analysis, we are only going to use cos theta and we are not going to use sin theta. Now let us take the joint D and find the member forces. In the joint D, we have the member forces in DE and in DC. Also, we have the vertical reaction 16. Here, I have taken the joint D. We know that in the joint D, we have the forces FCD and FDE. In this joint, first we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. Because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown. Suppose if we apply sigma H is equal to 0, there will be two unknowns. So first we have to apply sigma V is equal to 0. When we apply this rule, we have to follow this condition. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to take the vertical forces and inclined forces. In the joint D, we have one vertical force 16 and one inclined force FDE. So we have to take both of them. FCD is horizontal. We should not take it. First, let us take FDE. It is not vertical, but it is inclined. So we have to make FDE vertical. To make FDE vertical, we need 51.34 degree. So we have to multiply FDE with the cos 51.34. When we make FDE vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be applied as positive. Then let us take the reaction. It is acting upwards. So it is also positive. We can take 16 on the other side. So it will come as negative. We can take this on the other side. So it will come in the denominator. After the calculation for FDE, we will get a negative value. That means the force is compressive. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to take the horizontal forces and the inclined forces. We have one horizontal force FCD and one inclined force FDE. So we have to take both of them. 16 is vertical. We should not take it. For the rule sigma h is equal to 0, we have to follow this condition. Left side negative and right side positive. FDE is inclined. We have to make FDE horizontal. To make FDE horizontal, we need 38.66 degree. So we have to multiply FDE with the cos 38.66. When we make FDE horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FCD is acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. We have already calculated FDE 25.61 and compressive. So for FDE, we have to apply 25.61. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. Here we have already one negative sign. Negative into negative, it will be positive. When we multiply 25.61 with the cos 38.66, we will get 20. Finally, for FCD, we have got a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us take the joint E. In the joint E, we have the member forces EF, ED, EC. Also, we have the load 12 kN. In this joint, first, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to only take the vertical and inclined forces. There are two vertical forces and an inclined force. So we have to take these three. We have to make FTE vertical. To make FTE vertical, we need 51.34 degree. So we have to multiply FTE with the cos 51.34. When we make FTE vertical, it will be acting downwards. So we have to apply FDE as negative. 
FCE is acting downwards, so it should be applied as negative. 12 kilo newton is also acting downwards, so it also should be applied as negative. We know the value of FDE, 25.61 and compressive. Since FDE is compressive, we have to apply as negative. Here we have already one negative sign. So minus into minus 25.61, we will get a positive 25.61. When we multiply these two, we will get a 16. Finally, for FCE, we have got a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to only take the horizontal and inclined forces. Here we have one horizontal force and one inclined force. So we have to take both of them. We have to make FDE horizontal. To make FDE horizontal, we need 38.66 degree. So we have to multiply FDE with the cos 38.66. When we make FDE horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So FDE should be applied as positive. FEF is acting towards the left side, so it should be applied as negative. Let us apply the value of FDE. We know that it is compressive, so it should be applied as negative. Finally, for FEF, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us take the joint C. In the joint C, we have the member forces CE, CD, CF, and CB. In the joint C, first we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. When we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown FCF. If we apply sigma H is equal to 0, there will be two unknowns FCF and FBC. So first we have to apply sigma v is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to only take the vertical and inclined members. We have to make FCF vertical. To make FCF vertical, we need 51.34 degree. So we have to multiply FCF with the cos 51.34. When we make FCF vertical, it will be acting upwards, so it should be applied as positive. FCE is acting upwards, so it should be applied as positive. We know the value of FCE 4, let us apply that. Finally, for FCF, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. When we apply this rule, we have to consider the forces FBC. FCD and the inclined force FCF. We have to make FCF horizontal. To make FCF horizontal, we need 38.66 degree. So we have to multiply FCF with the cos 38.66. When we make FCF horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So it should be applied as negative. FBC is acting towards the left side, so it should be applied as negative. FCD is acting towards the right side, so it should be applied as positive. We know the value of FCF just before we got 6.4 and compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. Here we have already a negative sign. So minus into minus 6.4, we will get a positive 6.4. We know the value of FCD 20, let us apply that. Finally, for FBC, we have got a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us take the joint B. In the joint B, we have the forces BF, BA and BC. In this joint, first let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. We know that when we apply this rule, we have to only take the vertical and inclined forces. Here there is no inclined force, but we have one vertical force, FBF. Since there is no other vertical force or inclined force, FBF will be zero. Now let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to zero. FAB is acting towards the left side, so that will be negative. FBC is acting towards the right side, so that will be positive. We know the value of FBC, 25, let us apply that. 
Finally, for FAB, we have got a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us take the joint A. In this joint, we have calculated the force in AB. Only we have to find the force in AF. Let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find FAF. We have to make FAF vertical. To make FAF vertical, we need 51.34 degree. So we have to multiply FAF with the cos 51.34. When we make FAF vertical, it will be acting upwards. So it should be positive. The reaction toll is acting upwards. So it is also positive. Finally, for FAF, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the forces. Let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members, then forces and the nature of the forces. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.